Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new Dollar Tree haul. If you're new to this channel, I do one of these every single Wednesday and I'm super excited to show you guys what I found this time. Okay, this Dollar Tree haul is probably one of my smallest ones I've ever done. There's barely anything here, but almost everything, there's a couple of repeat buys, but almost everything is brand new. And so I definitely wanted to show you guys this haul and show you the new stuff that I found. Also, let me know in the comments below what's on your wish list because I feel like my Dollar Tree isn't bringing out a lot of new stuff, but there really isn't a lot of things that people have hauled that I'm on the lookout for. So definitely let me know in the comments below what you guys are looking for so I can be on the lookout for that. Maybe I haven't seen someone haul it or something, but I'm always looking to find new things at Dollar Tree and honestly, I haven't been finding anything. So let me know in the comments below what you're looking for. Okay, we'll start with one of the things that I found last week that I was excited to find again, and that is this cosmetic bag. So this is the one that's like, it's really super soft and it has like a cream color on top and then like a blush pink on the bottom. Um, I like to use these in my purse and in my suitcase. And so what I'll do is I have like a stack of these that I keep in my suitcase. And then when I'm getting ready to travel, I just put small things in here. Um, that way I can find everything easier and it's all contained. And then if anything's liquid, it just spills inside this bag instead of spilling all in my suitcase. And it is inside, it's like a wipeable material. So um, if anything does spill, we're good to go. So I got another one of these because I really, really like the way this looks and feels. They had another color, I think it was blue, and then they had a green one. But this is the one that I chose to get again. Okay, something that has been on my wish list for a super long time is this Skin Nutrition's or Creme de Skin Nutrition's Hyaluronic Acid. Um, so I have found a lot that hyaluronic acid is super, super good um, for my skin. It's in my Neutrogena Hydro Boost that I love. It's in a couple other um, moisturizers that I absolutely love. And this is the key ingredient. So I was super excited to find this. I actually picked up three of them, two for me and one for Kira because I know that she loves it as well. And this is what it looks like. It's just a little dropper and it's basically a serum. And let's see if I can open it. Um, yeah, it's basically a serum and you just put it in this dropper and then drip it out like that. So I'm super excited to find this. It does say hyaluronic acid 1% plus vitamin C serum. It says for hydration, radiant, antioxidant. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited about this. And like I said, that hyaluronic acid works super good on my skin. So if you have dry skin and you need some a good moisturizer, definitely be on the lookout for that. And then keeping in with the health and beauty stuff, I got, I found new micellar water. So this is the Daily Defense Micellar Cleansing Water. And this one says cleanses and hydrates all in one for all skin types, even sensitive. Um, and this isn't a Greenbrier brand. It is, well, the brand is Daily Defense, but uh, it's, it's not a Greenbrier brand. That's all I know. <laughs> um, but there was two different ones. This one's for all skin types and this one's for dry and sensitive skin. So I got two of these because my skin is super dry, like I mentioned, and I'm hoping that this works well. So as many of you know, I got the nail polish dispenser last week or two weeks ago, maybe. Um, and I put my micellar water in there. So it has like the pump top where you just push down with your cotton pad and it seeps up into it. And that's how I use my micellar water. I think it works the best. Uh, I know a lot of micellar waters have that already, but this one just has a regular spout like that. Um, which I find is kind of dif more difficult to get onto your cotton pad and to get your makeup off. So I'm all about this. I wanted to show you guys both, but this is probably the one I will keep for myself and maybe I will give this to someone else. But like I said, I have super dry skin. So I got two of these and one of these and I think my cellar water at the Dollar Tree is a great deal. Okay, I did get three new or three candles. Two of them are new. So I'll start with the one that I repurchased and I'll tell you why. This sea salt pineapple old Williamsburg one is amazing. I put I burned it yesterday when I was off. And you guys, it smells so good and the throw is pretty strong. So you guys know these old Williamsburg ones, typically they're pretty good, but sometimes they can be a miss. So um, I definitely wanted to burn it really quickly to figure out if I wanted to repurchase more. And obviously I did. This is a really, really good candle. It smells really strong on throw or on cold sniff and um, on the throw. So I would definitely recommend this candle if you haven't gotten it already. It doesn't really, I don't really smell any sea salt or anything like that. I basically just smell pineapple, which is amazing. Very springy and summery. Um, it is really, really strong. So I would definitely recommend that guy. And these are two I haven't tried before. This is the um, Joy and Laughter Notes of Lemon and Jasmine. But this one, the reason why I got it, it has a wood wick. 
Um, so I was watching, whose channel was I watching? I think it was Couponing Girl, Stephanie from Couponing Girl. She was talking about this candle. Um, I, well, I don't know if it was this one, but it was one with the woodwick. And she said it's absolutely amazing. And when you burn it at night, the sound is like really soothing and calming. So that's what I got this for. I don't know if it's going to have the best throw. Um, it is a green briar brand. Um, but let's smell it. It really doesn't smell like too much. It smells like, it doesn't smell like lemon at all. It smells like just jasmine, I would say. Um, but that's what the top looks like. And I basically just got it for, like I said, the crackling of the woodwick. So I will let you guys know in a future candle empties how I like that one. But this is the one I was super excited to find. So if you guys aren't new to my channel, you know that I'm obsessed, literally obsessed with the coffee candle that came out about a year ago now. Um, and it was the old Williamsburg one and it had, it just said cafe frappe on the side. I still am like hoarding a couple more of those cause I really don't want to use them all, but, um, I am almost out. And so when I found this one, I was super excited. This is an old Williamsburg one, but it's cafe ole and just has coffee beans all over it. And I took it off in the store and I was only going to get one. And then I took the lid off and smelled it and I literally bought three. One for Kira, one for me, and one for Vanessa. But you guys, it smells almost exactly like the coffee candles, like the original coffee candles that we found a long time ago. And I am obsessed with those. And so I got this one and it's such cute packaging. It has like the little coffee lid on the, on the top. And then just like the Starbucks ordering thing on the side, it says decaf milk shots, custom syrup drink. Um, I think this is so, so cute. And that, like I said, the packaging is amazing, but the smell is what got me because it smells super similar to my coffee candles. Okay, if you're not new to my channel, again, you've seen me haul these um, men's fashion socks before. I get them for my fiance, Matt. He really, really likes them. Um, and they're really good quality. They stand up in the wash and I think they're super cute. So um, I got this one. It's blue, like a navy, dark navy blue, and it has pickles on it. I'm obsessed with pickles, so obviously I had to pick up this for him. Um, he's not necessarily obsessed with pickles, but I love them, and he likes any of the socks that are dark on the top, so he wears them to work. So I absolutely love those. And then this one is my favorite. It reminds me of Burger King. Like on their shirts, they have like this big old hamburger on it, and he has one that has a bunch of little hamburgers on it, but he doesn't have one that has a bunch, like one big hamburger. And I just noticed, actually, let me take this out of the package. I'm about to give it to him now, but I noticed that it has hamburgers on one side, like on the top part, and then there's french fries on the bottom. And I didn't even notice that in the store, but that makes it even better. Like that is so cute. It's like hamburgers and french fries, super cute. I love to get these socks from the Dollar Tree. Okay, I did pick up one random thing. This is a um, two set of gift bags. I actually only need one of them and I only need this lemon one. So basically what I'm gonna do is, um, as many of you know, on Friday I am picking up Vanessa from the airport and we're driving up to Kira's house. And basically I'm gonna have just her a little package. I showed some stuff in my grocery haul that I'm gonna give her so it's not a surprise. But I just wanted to put a, a couple things in here for her to eat and drink on the ride there and on the ride back and just have it sitting, sitting waiting for her in the car so we don't have to worry about picking anything up in the airport unless we want to get Starbucks but I just wanted to have this for her for some food and some snacks to hold her over until we get to Kira's, Kira's for lunch and then there's an extra one on the back that's just a yellow plaid but of course I had to get the lemon lemons for her and then I also got a watering can. So as many of you know, or maybe don't know, um, I've, over the past couple of weeks, I've been hauling a lot of stuff for gardening. And out on my balcony, I have um, some pots filled with seeds and stuff and only one is sprouted if you guys see the the little growing kits um definitely pick them up because i have the sunflower one and it's already sprouting it has like three different little green sprouts and i'm super excited about it because if that grows sunflowers it's going to be like the best thing ever um i do have a long one that has some herbs in it and then another one that has tomatoes those haven't started sprouting yet but the sunflower one has Anyways, I digress. I got a watering can because I've just been using a cup, but I think this is going to be a lot easier to just take out there, fill up with water, and keep out there on the balcony. So I got a blue one. They had a bunch of different colors, and if you're wanting to get into gardening or planting, definitely check out the Dollar Tree because there's seriously so much stuff there to choose from. 
super random, but this is what I was holding everything in. I love these bags right here over the other ones. This is the Main Street Totes brand. This is my all-time favorite brand as far as bags from the Dollar Tree. I literally stuff these when I go grocery shopping and nothing happens to them. The handle doesn't break. It doesn't fall through the bottom. Nothing rips. But when I have the other ones that are like, I guess they're like Dollar Tree brand, um, sometimes the handle breaks if I fill them too much. So I definitely like these over those. And this is just a really pretty pattern. You can see up close, it's like a bunch of little dots and I was absolutely obsessed with it. Okay, and speaking of travel and stuff, I just told you guys that I like to keep my stuff in bags and this tag literally says water resistant travel bag and it's a two pack. So there's a bigger one and it looks like mesh, but it's not like nothing can get through it or anything. And it seems pretty durable as far as it won't break or anything. It just has a regular zipper and there's a big one there. So I'm gonna use this for like my stuff that could potentially leak. So I'm gonna put that in there and then I think I'm gonna use this one in my purse because it's a lot smaller than this one as you can see but they come together really all I wanted was this one but it came with this one so I definitely wasn't complaining and I'm gonna use this in my purse and it's just the exact same material so I was super excited to add these to my travel bag collection all right guys and I think this is the last thing that I found this week I told you guys it was a super small haul I literally never do hauls this small but that's just what I found this time. So this is was in the travel section, and this is the on-the-go cable organizer. Um, so it says, perfect for your pocket or purse. My purse is exactly where I'm going to use these. This is just silicone. It's super, super bendy. Um, and let's see if I can take it out and show y'all. So here we go. It's just like that, and you just wrap up your cable in it like this is showing you here on the back. It is a Green Briar brand, um, but I picked up two of them because I have an Apple Watch charger and my phone charger, and I, I honestly should have picked up a third one for my MacBook, but I didn't. Um, I'll pick one up if I, when I go next time, but I keep them in my purse, and I take them, take them back and forth to home and work, and I need this to keep them organized because right now they just get tangled at the bottom, and it's a hot mess. And so I was, these were definitely on my wish list, and I was super excited to find them, and I need to get one more, but I think they're going to be so amazing for wrapping my cords in my purse. But okay guys, that's everything I found this week at Dollar Tree. Told you guys it was a small haul, but I still wanted to bring you guys what I found because there were some new items that I was excited to show y'all. So thanks again for watching this week's Dollar Tree haul. If you have anything on your wish list, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys next week with a brand new Dollar Tree haul. Bye guys.